Hello, this reading is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in Pisces for the month of October. Thank you for visiting my channel, GURU Tarot. So let's go ahead and get started. What's going on for Pisces for the month of October? What's going on for Pisces for the month of October? All right. What is going on? for Pisces for the month of October. What is going on for Pisces for the month of October? So Pisces, the first set of cards are pretty heavy here, as we can see. We have the Ten of Swords, the Justice, um, the Ten of Swords Reverse, the Justice Reverse, the Eight of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles. All right, so we have some really heavy cards here from what I feel. It looks like there has been a lot of injustice, but you're at the very end of it, the tail end of it. You know, I feel that it's been a rough ride and there's been a lot of injustices. Um, but I do see here, there is yellow, meaning that there is light at the end of the tunnel, right? And so I know that's cliche in that sense, but I see this as a sense of positive as well, because um, you're going to overcome this uh, eventually. Everything that's going through hardships has to eventually change after we learned our lessons. So, I do see next to this is the Justice card reverse, and it looks like there is some, some legal situations that are at play here, and it's making you sick and uncomfortable. Um, but it's a must to go through in your life for change. And it's looking like you are walking away from something and seeking your independence. So these are good cards, right? Because eventually you are going to walk away from something that wasn't right for you, whether it is a job that just wasn't fulfilling or was hurting you in a sense of financially, emotionally. Um, it could be a way of thinking. I mean, there is a lot of change and truth happening in this world that is coming out. And that is, I have to say, a beautiful thing. So moving out of these destruction, destruct, destructive behaviors or um, treatment in life and walking away from that into something that is going to make you very happy, your independence, your value, your strength, right for you and you gotta learn that I don't want to say it that way that sounds condescending I'm not saying that you gotta learn but going within you to understand your value right understanding your value because when you understand your value the world comes to you so that's what I say um, and that's what I see from the cards and so let's go ahead and see what's going on with your person, Pisces. What is going on with your person? What is going on with your person for the month of October? What is going on for your person for the month of October? What is going on for your person for the month of October, Pisces? What is going on for a Pisces person in the month of October? Judgment. What is going on for Pisces for the month of October? Ten of Cups, Page of Pentacles. What is going on for Pisces for the month of October? And what is going on for Pisces person? for the month of October. What is going on for Pisces person in the month of October? What is going on for Pisces person 
for the month of October. Okay, so we are going to take these two cards here. So, for your person, Pisces, it looks like this person is going through some some judgment. Um, this could be a reconciliation. It could be paperwork of um, some sort um, moving forward. Uh, it looks like this person wants happiness with you and it is a small um, offer or token of love or stability. It could be something with money involved of giving you an offer. Um, the Queen of Wands so this person feels that you are a strong woman and that you're you're beautiful in your own right, you're you're feisty, or this person is a Leo. Or because usually the Queen of Wands here is a Leo, it could also be any other fire sign, which is a Sagittarius or Aries. So this person that is a fire sign doesn't have to be. Um, really cares about you and wants to give you some kind of small offer and a new start. So it looks like this person is going through some legal battles and um, I'm not sure if it's something as them getting out of jail or a divorce or some kind of um they're afraid of being judged by you in that sense but it is a freedom that this person is getting out of maybe getting out of a marriage or something or a relationship to be able to give you an offer and um like i said this person is uh thinks of you highly and sees you as the queen of wands um which is like i said if some a woman that knows what she wants um speaks her truth is very strong um is very attractive is very inspiring um and then someone that they want to have a new start with so this is what i see from the person that you are that is thinking about you highly so let's go ahead and see what the action that they're going to be taking for the month of October. What is going on for Pisces for the month of October? What is going on for Pisces for the month of October? What is going on for Pisces for the month of October? What is going on for Pisces for the month of October? Um, October. I mean the action that this person is going to be taking for the month of October. What is the actions that this person is going to be taking towards Pisces for the month of October? What is the action that this person is going to be taking for the month of October? Thank you, Spirit. Okay, what is the actions? What is the actions that this person is going to be taking for the month of October? What is the actions that this person is going to be taking for the month of October. <sighs> okay. Oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> that needs to be cut. All right. <laughs> okay. I'm not that great at editing, so it probably will not be cut. But anyways, what is the action? So I see that the action that this person is going to be taking towards you is that um, they're going to be moving a bit quickly. A little bit faster than the other suits as normal because a fire signs are the fastest suit in the deck and this person is very excited um, it looks like they want to bring you stability that house the money the, um, the all the material possessions you know good things um, and even like uh, a new contract it looks like this person's wanting to come in with a new promise um, and it's wanting to manifest this this person could be a Virgo but it doesn't have to be it just could mean that this person is in heavy contemplation with things and is on deep reflection of how to move forward 
um, with these actions. Um, but we do see that you are, from the very beginning, wanting to leave something that no longer serves you into your independence, and this person is then wanting to move forward. And this looks like someone, either it could be from your past, but I don't see anything from your past here. I see this as something new that's moving forward, and this person wanting to bring something more stable, as we see from the Hierophant and the Pentacle, something that is more um, traditional, that's traditional in this world and wants to manifest that and bring that sense of, of happiness moving forward with you. So I do see really good cards here, but let's go ahead and see what is going on for you with the Oracle cards now for the month of October. What is going on for Pisces? What does Pisces need to know for the month of October? What does Pisces need to know for the month of October? What does Pisces need to know for the month of October? What does Pisces need to know for the month of October? What does Pisces need to know for the month of October? What does Pisces need to know for the month of October? Okay, so um, it says here, let your friends help you. Chemistry and codependency. So Pisces, I see, let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. Um, from what the cards are telling me, it's telling me to tell you, showing me from spirit, um, that you need to surround yourself with people who love you and, and, uh, and not to be so hard on yourself. Chemistry, there is a strong magnetic attraction here. With this person that we see here, this person that is attracted to you, um, it may be that they see you in a relationship and um, they want to bring in stability for you. Uh, so there is a lot of chemistry, but there's hurdles that this person wants to overcome with what is currently going on with you. So, and they have the permit card and you have the Nine of Pentacles, which is independence. And this is person that um, is currently alone. But um, I do see that this person is really excited about you and wanting to, <coughs> excuse me, move forward. <coughs> excuse me. And then we have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. It could be Pisces that I see from your past that there is a lot of codependencies in needing to fulfill other people's expectations. I see. And you're wanting to walk away from that. But it's hard for you because, you know, you, you want to, you feel that you're doing right by helping others. But in the end, these people need to help themselves in order for you to heal and for you to exude your own independence and move forward in your own strength and your own position in life and not depending on others but yourself. So I do think that these were great learning lessons that you've been through and moving forward into something because I do see a lot of yellow in these cards in the end from the end here, the end here and here, this is another person what they're going through and thinking but they're shining the light so there is light at the end of the tunnel like I said and there is strength to be had here so I do see that this is a really great reading overall again there's some hurdles here but I do see for the month of October moving forward that there is um, strength to be overcome. And so 
this was your reading for October Pisces. Um, thank you so much for um, being with me today. And I will be looking forward to reading you in November. Thank you so much.